You just negotiate up, man. Like, uh, just yeah. Well, I told you. Tell people right from the start, I don't negotiate, all right? You treat me right, I'll treat you right, okay? I'll do you right, you do me right. I don't, and like I said, if I have to explain basic fairness to people, I mean, they know what they're going to pay to have a service guy come to their fucking house. They know it's 200 bucks right away, all right? So, so they've got to be rash enough to say, oh, yeah, well, I can give Gary 50 bucks. You know, for this one job, I give him fifty bucks for that job, and I just saved four hundred dollars. No, that's how they should be thinking. All right, but when they sit there and try to weasel, you know, I mean, the last job I did, I did three different jobs. I, I spent at least two hours just getting the parts online. I paid out of my pocket twelve bucks, and the guy gave me fifty dollar bills. That means I made thirty eight dollars for, you know, five hours work. 38 fucking dollars at least five hours like I say it might be more than that Fuck you. I mean, that's just bullshit Well, I mean you could try it. You could just say like yeah, I got this little job going and I'm getting eight dollars an hour so uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be free next weekend and then... Yeah, well, I'm just saying it just I'm I'm just to the point where I'm just not I'm just not in the mood to be treated like fucking shit anymore I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. Why don't you do another job? Do job? Well, because I have circumstances. You know, I got this anxiety disorder. I mean, it's like I gotta really work on you know, conditions have to be right for me to be comfortable enough to do work, and so it's complicated. I mean, so I mean, the good thing about these this place, I can walk to it through the woods, so I feel pretty comfortable. What about comfortable. school? What's your education? What's your education? Like, uh, well, this is none of your business anyway. But yeah, I graduated from high school. Okay, I don't, I don't have any. I, but but I have I have plenty of experience. Right? I mean, I've done plumbing, electric work, auto mechanic, lots of jobs. Lots of skills. I don't really like college that much because it focuses you into uh, the class that you're in a little too much. I don't know. Well, it depends on what you're going to do with it. I mean, there's just too much of college is bullshit. But, I mean, college should be for, you know, real hardcore engineering, real, you know, architecture, medicine, you know, stuff that takes a knowledge base. But this, you know, too much of college is just bullshit. I mean, I can't believe people are paying to take bullshit courses. Yeah, I took a political science degree, and I'm having trouble deciding whether to go further in that or do something like law. Yeah, well, I, I, I think law is damn interesting. I mean, it's futile just because the system's so broken now. The judges are all fucked up. There's no rules. There's no accountability. Hey, to Coughlin, I meant to say that before. Um... And uh, so, you know, that's the downside. But, I mean, theoretically, ideally, you know, when law was really law and it was about making a great argument and all that shit, I mean, you, can, you know, I could, I could get horny for that shit. I mean, I could, I could get passionate about doing that justice thing. I mean, that, I, that really appeals to me. But if you're just in a system where you just become a lying scumbag, you know, where you're just playing the, this disgusting patronage game, you know, can you suck up to the judge the right way? Can you, you know, play the soap opera the right way? And it's not about the argument anymore. Yeah, then that sucks. So, I mean, I don't know what to say on that. But, yeah, political science is just dead. I mean, politics is, again, it's, you know, the only thing they should teach you is what, what how to be a perfect liar. <laughs> you know, what the fuck? Who wants to be a professional liar? What about philosophy? The only way you get ahead. And... Sorry, it's one at a time there, fellas. 
Do you think philosophy is something worth studying in college? Yeah, well, I think that's sort of that's sort of crap. Like I said, that's just it's crap. I mean, there's no, especially when you you look at the what are they studying? They're studying old dead theories, so they might as well just call it religion. <laughs> You're right. I mean, philosophy is just studying religion. It's not even a good religion anymore. The thing about the legal yeah, system it's thing. Not even a good Go ahead on the legal system thing. Oh, it's just uh, they don't ask any of those philosophical questions anymore, so they got all these precepts standing around, and you kind of have to play within the rules of the game if you want to even play the game. And I don't think uh, I think that's kind of what you're talking about. You got to be a lying scumbag just to succeed. Yeah, well, like I said, the games has completely been blown up. The judges have, they have no accountability. They've eliminated the whole idea of legal precedent. So, you know, they can have unpublished decisions, what are called unpublished decisions now. And so they can basically apply the law in a way to your case, and they don't have to apply it the same way to the next guy that comes into the court. You know what I mean? They can really fuck around with the legal precedent and so once you can do that there's just there's nothing to argue anymore you know because you can't you can't argue the idea that yeah, everybody should be treated the same way and that was really what it was about before was just saying well look this is how every other case has been handled so either you redefine the law or you handle it the same way as it's always been done you know what I mean that puts judges in the corner they should be in where they have to actually make a statement and say okay I'm going to change the law now I'm going to change the interpretation and blah 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 but they don't do it explicitly anymore and now they just do it by the big popular case gets decided one way the little guy case gets decided completely a different way applying the same law and it just doesn't make any you know it's just completely pointless and look look at look at you know look how important copyright is in this digital age and there's no case law you know regarding the DMCA none there's, there's no real case law I mean, even the YouTube case, the way the judge wrote his decision, it was completely, it's almost useless as any kind of decision. I mean, there's no way you could base it, you know, you, could, you can't base future conduct on it, because it's so specific, but specific to irrelevancies. Well, you know, you know, that's the, that's the problem with uh, new technology is that, when you're working on a precedent-based legal system, there's nothing to go off of. So what do you expect judges to do when they're encountering new situations like that, you know? Just be explicit. Just say that there's a new circum... That that's what they always did in the past. Is, you know, they, they undid bad law. They just said, look, we understand now that this is a da-da-da-da, and so, okay, women should have the right to choose. And this is the... Because the world has changed. And things change, and so the law changes with them. And, but I'm just saying they're not being explicit about it. They're doing it the sneaky, stupid way where, like I said, now we have a very uneven system. So if you have enough money, you can get a judge to make a decision. So, I mean, I almost think that the, the Google, Google won only because it was Google. The, whatever the bigger corporation is wins. <laughs> you know, that's slimy. Like, it doesn't matter what the crime is, as long as you're the O.J. Simpson, you are going to win. Are you referring to uh, something that happened with you? I know I came across a couple of videos of that whole, whole legal whatever. I don't know what happened exactly, but... Are yeah, you well, well, to well that? that's still, yeah, it's still something I'm fighting through, but yeah, I mean, it's not just happening to me. So I guess I am referring to that, but I'm also referring to what's happening... Like I said, the reason why I can't get anything done in the system is partly because there is no law. There is no case law. There is nothing. Nobody, no, they don't even decide cases anymore. Courts, m most cases are settled. You know, they, they don't even write a goddamn decision. And so, yeah, it's 